Let's learn how to divide polynomials. For example, let's divide x squared plus 9x plus 19 by x plus 4. Now we begin dividing polynomials in a similar way as we do when we divide numbers. But we start by looking at the leading terms and ask ourselves, x times what is equal to x squared? And this would be x, wouldn't it? Because x squared divided by x is equal to x. So that's the first term in our quotient here, x. And now we need to multiply x by the entire divisor x plus 4, which gives us x squared plus 4x. And then just like when we divide numbers, we now subtract x squared minus x squared is 0, 9x minus 4x is 5x, and we still have this plus 19 here. Now, are we done? We're not because the degree of this is not less than the degree of this. So we continue until the degree is smaller than the degree of the divisor. Again, we look at the leading terms here, x and 5x, and ask ourselves, x times what is equal to 5x? And this would be 5, wouldn't it? because 5x divided by x is 5. So that's the next term in our quotient. So we have plus 5. And now we multiply 5 by the entire divisor, x plus 4, which gives us 5x plus 20. Again, we'll subtract. 5x minus 5x is 0. And 19 minus 20 is negative 1. And now the degree of negative 1 is 0, which is smaller than the degree of the divisor, so we're done. Well, how can we represent our answer here? By the division algorithm, we have that the dividend, x squared plus 9x plus 19, divided by the divisor, x plus 4, is equal to the quotient x plus 5 plus the remainder, which is negative 1, divided by the divisor x plus 4. Or we can multiply both sides of the equation by the divisor x plus 4, which gives us that x squared plus 9x plus 19 is equal to x plus 5 times x plus 4 and then minus 1. So these are two nice ways of representing our answer. And in this last form here, we can actually check that we've done this division correctly by foiling this out, and then subtracting 1. So let's do that. When we foil out the right side, we get x squared plus 4x plus 5x plus 20, and then we still have the minus 1, which is equal to x squared plus 9x plus 19, which sure enough is our dividend. All right, let's look at another example. Let's divide. Well, the first thing to notice here is that our dividend is not written in standard form. Standard form would be 4x to the fourth minus 11x squared plus 15x plus 7. And the other thing to notice is also there's no x cubed term. So let's add a placeholder term 
with a coefficient of zero. That is, let's write our dividend 4x to the fourth plus 0x cubed minus 11x squared plus 15x plus 7. All right, so we're ready to divide now. Our divisor is 2x squared plus 3x minus 2. And our dividend is 4x to the fourth plus 0x cubed minus 11x squared plus 15x plus 7. Again, we start by looking at the leading terms, which is why we wanted to rewrite this dividend in the first place. So we're going to ask ourselves 2x squared times what? is equal to 4x to the fourth. And isn't that 2x squared? Because 4x to the fourth divided by 2x squared is equal to 2x squared. So that will be the first term in our quotient up here. So we have 2x squared. And then we multiply 2x squared by the entire divisor, 2x squared plus 3x minus 2, which gives us 4x to the fourth plus 6x cubed minus 4x squared. And now we subtract 4x to the fourth minus 4x to the fourth is 0. And then 0x cubed minus 6x cubed is negative 6x cubed. And then negative 11x squared minus a minus 4x squared is negative 7x squared. And then we still have this plus 15x plus 7. Now we didn't need to write this placeholder here, this 0x cubed, but when we subtract this 6x cubed, it comes in handy because then we know we are subtracting 6x cubed from 0x cubed. All right, now we have to ask ourselves how many times this goes into this. That is 2x squared times what is equal to negative 6x cubed. And that would be negative 3x, wouldn't it? because negative 6x cubed divided by 2x squared is equal to negative 3x, which is the next term in our quotient. So we have a negative 3x. And then negative 3x times our entire divisor gives us negative 6x cubed minus 9x squared plus 6x. Again, we subtract negative 6x cubed minus a minus 6x cubed is 0, and then negative 7x squared minus a minus 9x squared is positive 2x squared. And then 15x minus 6x is positive 9x, and then we still have the plus 7. All right, 2x squared goes into 2x squared one time. So that would be the last term in our quotient here. So 1 times our divisor is 2x squared plus 3x minus 2. Again, we subtract 2x squared minus 2x squared is 0. 9x minus 3x is 6x. 7 minus a minus 2 is plus 9. And now the degree of this is smaller than the degree of our divisor up here. So we're finished. So by the division algorithm, this dividend divided by the divisor is equal to the quotient, which is 2x squared minus 3x plus 1 plus the remainder 6x plus 9 divided by the divisor. This 2x squared plus 3x minus 2. And this is how we divide polynomials. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.